misses, but our trainer Jeff is he's a wizard with with injuries, um, and I think it will be good. I don't I don't know I don't understand the whole ankle thing, but knowing him and knowing Ashton and how diligent Ashton is in rehab, he'll be fine. Emmanuel had another uh, had 18 last week, 23 this week. Just yeah. how have you seen his play grow over the last couple of weeks? He's starting to shoot the ball confidently too, mm -hmm. and it starts in practice, and starts in his workouts. He's locked in all the time. He's not worried if he misses it. If, if he does miss it, he gets a stop on defense. And if he gets a stop on defense, he understands the ball's going to come right back to him if he scored the play before. And when you're making shots and your confidence is, is going through the roof and the rim's a little bit bigger, everything seems to go in. And yeah, man, he's really starting to make some shots. Thanks, Nick. Talk about Nick and Nick the young guys here every year after year. It always happens that the younger guys kind of get the big, get down a little bit. Is that odd for you to see? And how can you help them kind of talk about it? With Nick? Uh, I mean, like I said, they're 18 year old kids. They've never had to play in a system like this. They've never had to play for a coach or a coach down. And I have either. But just understanding that, like, it's a long season. You play 35 plus games in it. There might be a couple games where you don't play well. It's like, all right, it's fine. You have 29 more or something like that. So it's, I don't know, I think it's more of a guys just need to slow down and, and relax a little bit. And, don't get me wrong, it's it's hard. And I went through a stretch at the beginning of the year where I wasn't playing well and it was frustrating because I couldn't play well on defense and translate to offense or vice versa. So it's like you can't really do that. But I mean, with the younger guys, I'm trying to talk to guys that if, if I know they're good, so I'm trying to help them out, kind of boost their confidence before they even in practice or something, talking through stuff. If the coach is yelling, the coach is saying something, they don't understand it. Like, I'm not afraid to ask a question that I know they're afraid to. Because 